Welcome to Fathers University, where we educate men in fatherhood, finance, and fitness. Man, I'm so excited about this question that I have for us as men today. And it's a very critical question. It's a question that's going to have you really going a little deep. It may be simple to a lot of people, but for me, it's a very, very, very important question. And the question that I have for us as men, which one is more challenging, raising a daughter or raising your son? Uh, that's pretty deep, huh? Raising your daughter or raising your son? And I'm telling you, man, I, I just say for myself, being a former ball player, played sports since I was five years of age, and I had great coaches and great mentors, and I tell you, they, they were very tough. Sometimes their tone was tough, but it was tough love for me, and it was encouraging for me. So at the age of five, all the way to college, that's all I knew. That's all I knew. It, it was sprint to the line, sprint to the huddle, do what you have to do. And I received that as being inspired. But then I became a dad. I became a father. I became a person that, and my first child is a girl. So that tough tone, let's get it done. You understand the words that's coming out of my mouth. I had to calm it down. And guess what? I'm still trying to calm that tone down. I'm trying to balance it out. And I tell you, it's a process. It's a process every day. It's a process because we have to understand as men and as fathers, the way we interpret things, the way other, our daughters interpret things is totally different. And I got a secret. As my daughter's getting older, I have to learn how to communicate. And it doesn't have to mean fussing, screaming, or toning. It's just bringing things down and saying things very in a simple way. So let me see what you have to say. Hey, I want you to subscribe, Fathers University. Give some input. What is Yours may not be a daughter. Yours may be uh, communicating with your son. I don't know. We all have our thing. But let me hear what you got to say. Every man is different. Every father is different. Every situation is different. And can I give you a secret? This just came to my head. Just because that you're trying to work some things out as a father doesn't mean that you're a bad dad. Doesn't mean that you that you made that you're no, we are in a there's no perfect father. I promise you, there is no perfect father. Get that in your head, get that in your heart. There's no perfect father. And the father that you think is perfect, if you really go behind those walls, you realize he he don't have it all together. So it's one day step at a time. But let me hear your comments. Let me hear your thoughts. Subscribe Fathers University. But let me hear your thoughts. Because I guess what we, we have to understand that every situation is different. But no matter from your daughter or your son, we still love our kids. They still love us, even though they may not say it every day, but they love us. Hey, this is Emerson Mars, Fathers. Fathers University, fathers, we are important. We educate these fathers in fatherhood, finance, and fitness. Have a great one.